teachers are being judged harder than a Brit in a Speedo on Miami Beach, and teacher evaluations are as accurate as Barney Gumble playing lawn darts. I'm Devin Siebold. This is the State of Teaching. In the U.S., only five states do not tie any teacher pay to bonuses or performance. They just pay them. What? Weirdos? <laughs> the issue isn't that teachers are being evaluated. It's that the evaluation criteria is as flawed as a flea market diamond necklace. Every teacher I know has an evaluation horror story. Principal walked in during a fight, a fire drill went off, or a YouTube ad introduces the children to female anatomy to sell a video game. I bought it. It was good. The snapshot of the classroom isn't reflective of the bigger picture, but it is being used as a brush to paint one. Happy trees over here and an unemployed educator by the creek fishing for an effective rating over here. Then there is the issue of favoritism. Some teachers, no matter how good they are, will never get a positive evaluation. Some can never get a negative evaluation based solely on their personal relationship with admin. You kiss the ring, you get a P. Don't think we don't see you up in the office schmoozing. Remember, snitches get highly effective, apparently. Then there's the subjectiveness of the evaluation. Case in point, my own. I had an administrator walk into my classroom to evaluate me using a specific rubric provided by the county. They sat for 20 minutes and left. I knocked it out of the park like 99 Mark McGuire, but with the juice boxes. Less than five minutes later, a different administrator apparently didn't get the memo that I has already been evaluated and then did their walkthrough. I was still doing the exact same lesson, same kids, same lesson plan, same environment like Groundhog Day, but I'm the one seeing my shadow over six more weeks of test prep. 30 minutes later, I got two notifications that the evaluations were posted on my report. The first one was highly effective straight down the list. The second was too effective, two needs improvement. Same rubric, same experience, two different subjective opinions. It's like men watching The Godfather with their wives for the first time. What do you mean it was just okay? It's Coppola's masterpiece. Did you even watch the same movie? Look, I know most of you are like, so what? Your scores will average out to an effective. And yes, it did. And later that year, my state handed out bonuses for $10,000 for highly effective teachers. I was 0.1 point away from getting it. Whatever bad day that admin was having when they walked into my class cost me $10,000. And this was Florida, so that's like double my yearly salary. Walkthroughs are too sporadic, subjective, and leave way too much room for favoritism. Now, I'm not saying principals should stop checking on their teachers. Well, we just want less Big Brother and more Biodome. Stop endless walkthroughs and weighing evaluations so heavily when they are about as black and white as The Sopranos ending. One possible solution comes from a study in England. The study implemented low stakes peer evaluations with no consequences attached. Across the board, the study found improvement in teacher and evaluator performance. The student has become the master. Now, all we need are administrators to come help cover for us while we go observe another classroom. So, yeah, I think I'll just take the $10,000 hit. Till next time, I'm Devin Siebold. This has been the State of Teaching.